Hey guys, we are going to be looking at data transfer and the synchronization between devices. Now, I know you're wondering like, what the heck does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna explain that to you right now. First of all, the most important thing to realize is that the world is wireless, mostly, okay? We are becoming more and more connected as we become less physically connected. I wonder if that makes any sense. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that the more we are being connected onto the internet, the more wireless we are becoming, okay? Think about the way that you're communicating these days. You're hardly plugging anything in to back up something or save something or send information or communicate with somebody. So that's the first thing to realize that the world is becoming wireless. Connections are taking place via very specific technologies on a wireless level. For example, we are able to transfer data from one device to another using a fantabulous uh, technology called Bluetooth, okay? And this enables us to send and receive data between various devices. So laptops, phones, tablets, you name it, any device that has Bluetooth capability, we're able to send and receive data. So that's one way of looking at it. Another pretty cool way is NFC, okay? Near field communication technology, that is pretty fantastic and very very cool you'll probably find it in things like your phones okay a lot of new phones have it uh, credit cards debit cards all of these things they got that little symbol okay nfc symbol and that works using electromagnetic conduction okay electromagnetic conduction sounds pretty cool say that to your parents they'll be like whoa my son or daughter is so clever i know you can thank me later and basically you just hold the device or the you know the card close to the receiver and there is communication via electromagnetic conduction is very very cool okay so all around you pretty much all of the time all these different devices are connected we are connected data being sent backwards and forwards to and fro constantly being synchronized across what the www you guessed it the world wide web communication and synchronization so it's not just communicating but it's also synchronizing data let's talk about the synchronization of data a little bit more what do i actually mean by that well data synchronization is like this we have our devices where we are creating content we then are able to synchronize that data to other computers for example the big bad boys let's just go back those guys okay servers now i'm going to tell you what we actually call that in the next slide okay watch so what we have is we've got all of these devices here they are over there and we have these applications there they are at the top okay i'm sure you recognize them we've got dropbox there is a onedrive that's google drive or google backup and sync as they're calling it and we have this data consistency between the devices that means basically what synchronization actually is about it's about making copies of what you've got on one device backed up somewhere else and constantly staying in sync we call that the cloud or i should say the cloud all right what is the cloud actually well the cloud is actually that that's the cloud there it is it's actually just servers big big powerful servers online all around the world and that is the cloud so this is basically what data transfer and synchronization is all about. Have a think about it the next time you're using your device and just think about the journey that your data is taking in terms of communicating and synchronization as well.